you can manipulate images to make them look better. But how about using them to tell part of a story? There are really cool ways that you can use image crops to highlight parts of an image. If you choose the right level of crop, you could use that highlighting to represent the stats being talked about, in this case, 20%. What do you think of that? Much nicer and also more helpful. So how do you do it? First thing is to select the image and resize it using the white grab handles so that it fills the entire slide. Then copy the image using Ctrl and C and paste a new one with Ctrl and V and line the two images up on top of each other perfectly with the alignment tools. These are on the Home tab, under Arrange on the right hand side and down in the Align menu. Align left and align top will do it. And while you've got the Arrange menu, choose Send to Back near the top so that you know the text is going to be on top of the image. Now select just the top image and go to the Format tab on the ribbon. Choose Colour on the left hand side and choose a light grey colour. This is going to represent the 80% of businesses that don't have high speed fibre. Now you want to crop it so that it takes up 80% of the slide. So on the Format tab, go to Crop on the right hand side and use the middle black grab handle on the left to crop the image down, revealing the full colour one underneath, which is going to represent the 20% of businesses with high speed connections. And that's the core of the visual support for the message. But you also need to tie it into the text. The text is 20 point font, which usually is fine, but it's lost here. So go to the Home tab on the ribbon, and just to the left here you can resize the text, and 40 points is probably good. Then use the white grab handles on the text to resize it, using the left hand one to bring the text closer to the image and keep it nicely balanced over three lines. Finally, to fully connect the text to the image, draw a small triangle using the shape tools on the Home tab. Recolor the triangle so that it stands out, perhaps this nice yellow so that it matches the lights in the color image. Use the rotate button above the shape to drag it round 90 degrees anti-clockwise and if you press and hold the shift key whilst doing this you will snap your shape in 15 degree increments making it much easier to get a perfect 90 degree rotation. And reposition it so that it sits nicely between the text and the colour image, using the alignment tools if you need to, to line everything up. And there you go. All done in a minute or two. Very quick to do, but a very helpful technique to communicate effectively.